everyone welcome back to my channel this is actually the first video i am filming since i hit 1000 subscribers so thank you so much i am doing a separate video on that i figured that because we're in lockdown and because i'm on a four day weekend because of easter it's my first easter out of retail and i need to fill these four days i thought i would do a little lockdown vlog i did do that video about what i'm doing while i'm on lockdown and i'll leave a card for that if you didn't see it here is me putting my ideas into action and some other things that I do. So it's Good Friday, it's just gone 7am and I've deliberately woke up early to film some videos while the house is quiet. My mum works for the NHS and she has been asked to go in today and my dad's in bed but because he's a vicar and it's Good Friday he's probably going to wake up to watch some online services and things like that so I only have a very small window to film in. The more I film today the more sleep I can have Saturday and Sunday because I don't plan to film again until Monday if I have a really productive day so I'm going to get changed, do my hair and then we'll start filming. Right, so my hair's done and I've threw a spirit jersey on top of the shirt I was wearing. I always wear pyjama buttons underneath to film because I get really hot and bothered when I film so I have to like take a shower or a bath straight after and I'm going to try and batch film a couple of videos today so I will stay in this spirit jersey probably. I am trying to keep count of my water intake so I am on bottle number one. So I'm ready to film my first video of the day which is the ultra applesauce challenge. I just need to sort out this because the sun is really bright and I don't want it to be on my face like it is now so I might have to bring the blinds down for that but apart from that I'm ready. Hey guys welcome back to my channel. So it's half eight I've been filming for an hour and I've only done two videos they were the main two I wanted to do so I think I'll call it a day because I did say I wanted Saturday and Sunday in bed but technically I don't need to. I could have one day in bed and have another day filming. I've got about six videos I wanted to make but I don't really want to overload myself so I'm actually going to put my pyjama top back on, do a bit of a workout and then have some breakfast. So I've got my breakfast and I've decided that while I have breakfast and go on my exercise bike I'm going to watch Mamma Mia 2, here we go again because I haven't actually watched it yet. I'll watch that, do some exercise and then I might start editing these videos that I've just filmed. So I just finished watching Mamma Mia 2 and I really really enjoyed it. Got really tearful and it actually ended with Super Trooper which is my favourite ABBA song so I was really happy with that. And now because it's Good Friday I've decided to open my Easter egg from my parents and I will find out whether I've got an Iron Man for my dad. It's Cap. He'll still put it in his collection but we really wanted it to be Iron Man. I love how I'm still in my pyjamas and it is... 11.03. So I'm going to run myself a bath because I'm really really warm. Um, I've got to finish off the washing. I decided to do this week's washing for my mum because she's at work today when normally she would get a bank holiday off. I just don't want her to come home stressed so I've done the washing for her. I've just got two more loads to do and then it's all done. I'm also on drink number two of the day. I have been trying to drink at least four of these massive cups a day so that I'm getting my two litres of water. So I'm already on number two and it's half eleven. Okay, so I've had my bath. I had some toast for dinner. I was going to have a pizza pocket and then when I tried it, I didn't like it. So I need to throw the other one away to make some space in the freezer. I just really want to play Animal Crossing right now. Um, I don't have it on my Switch. I only have it on the DS, but I've been playing it every single day just to calm me down a little bit. And then I might read a bit more as I only read one chapter in the bath. I 
haven't done much with the rest of my day. I edited both of next week's videos. I've promoted today's video that's just gone up and I'm on cup number three. I do need to upload those videos but I usually do that on a Sunday so I might actually do that tomorrow but my Mac needs charging now so that's on charge. My DS is on charge so I think I'm gonna read for a little bit. I'm currently reading this. I'm not very far through it but I figure out I've got nothing else to do so I might be able to finish this in a week or two. If you don't follow me on Goodreads I've got my link in the description. The next morning. Good morning everyone it's the Saturday. I didn't sign off last night because this is like a whole weekend vlog and I got a really bad headache last night, like really bad. I can still sort of feel it behind my eyes so I need to take my medication and start on today's number one cup of water. Um, I don't think I drank as quickly yesterday and that was part of the problem and um, there was a lot of factors really. I wanted to have a lion this morning and I woke up at half past seven instead of my usual seven. I'm going to have waffles for breakfast. I've already asked my mum if she could do those for me. So I'm going to have some breakfast and then I'll decide whether I'm going to film because I'm really not sure yet. Right, I've just gotten out of the bath. It's nearly 12 o'clock and my new office chair has just arrived and it's a flat pack. So I'm gonna build that first and then I'm gonna eat the cream egg brownie that my mum's made for me. I mean, beautiful British weather. <laughs> I mean, I'd be screaming if I was in one of these right now. <laughs> Look at the Rapunzel one! <laughs> Somebody's deliberately rocking that one. <laughs> Someone's going, <laughs> Have you ever been so bored that you've made your own Skyliner? Me and mum printed out those templates you can use to make your own Skyliner at home and we've coloured them in today and added some questionable Disney characters. My attempt at Sully was horrific and then we hung them on a washing line and put them in the garden. You guys all really loved it on Instagram and it was a nice way to spend the afternoon. I've also been watching Hello Hello. I'm just about to watch a live stream on YouTube and I do need to catch up with all my watch later on YouTube as well but I'm getting a little bit of a headache so I need to go on to glass number three of my drink and maybe take some tablets if I need to. Hey Lizzie in Disneyland. Yeah, good morning to us. Good afternoon to you. England, right? It'd be what, five, six hours different, so. What you doing? Eddie. No. So it's half past five and I'm already on number four. I'm just watching a low low in bed and playing Animal Crossing. <laughs> basically very boring Saturday afternoon evening. <laughs> I have got a live stream with Wannabe Mouseketeer at 8 o'clock tonight so I'm just chilling before then because that's usually the kind of time I'll be chilling so I've just switched it out a bit. Done that 
Hello everyone, today is Easter Sunday, so happy belated Easter when you're watching this. Thank you to everyone who came to the live stream last night, it was really fun. After the live stream I finished watching episode 3 of Star Wars, so today I need to work out what I watch next. I think I watch Solo next. The main thing I want to do today is change my bed sheets and either today or tomorrow I'm also going to pack away my Easter plush. The main thing I need to do is my bed sheets and then I also need to upload next week's YouTube videos to YouTube and play Animal Crossing. I'm no further in my book than I was yesterday as well so I might read some more of my book as well. I'd like to think by this time next week I've finished it but I'm not sure now. So I need to get changed and I'm not sure whether to change my bed sheets before dinner or after dinner. I can't wait for you to see my weird Sunday dinner. So I haven't done a lot today, just read books, played games, things like that, changed my bed sheets obviously. I'm wearing my I'm nicer when I'm at Disney t-shirt. It's 8 o'clock and I'm getting really tired so I'm just going to watch some YouTube videos and then go to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it's the final day of my lockdown vlog. Thing. So I was going to have a lie-in and not film and I still woke up at 7 which is the time I always wake up to film but I didn't film anything, I just really don't feel like it. I'd feel better if I washed my hair, it just looks disgusting to me. Um, so that's a job I've got to do later today, probably once I've finished doing this. Um, main job of the day is to obviously pack away all of my Easter things. I didn't feel like doing it as a separate video so I thought I would put it in the vlog as like a main thing because the box of plush isn't going in the mountain so I'll explain that in a little bit. I'm gonna put the TV on and eat some breakfast. I also need to go on the exercise bike and I'm just gonna have a really chill day before I'm back at work tomorrow. So I've just done all of my YouTube stuff. I completely forgot that I needed to fill up my creamy candy bubble bar for my birthday along with some other things. My best friend got me refills of both of my bubble bars. Now I'm running out of the creamy candy one the most so I'm just going to fill up this one and then I'm going to keep the comforter in the packaging until I need to fill that one up as well. I have actually done a video of how I reorganised my bathroom so you should be seeing that soon. I think I filmed it back in February and what I showed you with my YouTube stuff is something I actually want to do as a full video. I wanted to do my YouTube process but the problem is because nothing is normal right now my YouTube process isn't normal so once this is all over and everything's back to normal I can show you how my videos go from ideas to finish products but it just isn't happening the way it used to at the moment. So I'm going to fill this up and then we will move on to my Easter plush.
So that's all done now. Um, I need to start using my comforter. It's just that some of the creamy candy in here was a lot older and you could tell when I was putting it in that they were completely different colours so I was trying to use up all of that but luckily it's mixed in with this now. So I do this so that I can use it basically as a bubble bath. Instead of having to run the bar under the water I just pour some of this in and it does the exact same thing. I just find that when you hold the bubble bar underneath the water. A, you have to actually physically stand there with it and B, you use more than you really need to. So this is how I store and use my Lush bubble bars and I think they last a lot longer now that I'm doing it this way. So thank you to Connie for buying me both of them for my birthday to replenish my stuff. I won't be using it today because I'm going to be washing my hair once I finish this vlog. When I'm not washing my hair I do have a bubble bath. It just gives me something to look forward to every day basically. A few moments later. So the final thing I want to do in this vlog is pack away my Easter things as it is now Easter Monday and Easter's over and we will be in our new house by the time Easter rolls around so I don't need to have them easily accessible for the meantime. If you guys saw my Disney Spring Clean video, which if you didn't I will leave a card for, you will know that I put my Easter plush in this cloth box, which isn't too ideal because it doesn't properly close so the plush aren't safe so I'm going to actually pack them up and tape up the box so that I know they'll be safe. First of all I'm going to empty the box so instead of using the collapsible boxes I usually use in my other videos that go in the plush mountain I am putting these in Disney store boxes. I've got two Mickey Mouse ones. I was really tempted to do the colouring in in the box but I would rather just reuse these as actual boxes to cut down on our waste. So I've got a large one which my birthday presents came in and I still need to film the what I got for my birthday video and then I've got a smaller one that contained the items I bought with my birthday money so that's all going to be in one video I'm not sure when I'm going to film it or when it's going to go up yet but you will see it at some point. It's just obviously been a little bit crazy because of the trip being cancelled and everything. So I'm going to start with my smaller plush in the smaller box. So as you can see it's got a lovely colouring in portion which I might use when we've moved house but for now I want to actually use these as boxes. So the first four items that are going to go in this box are my Sumsums. If you haven't seen my latest Sumsum collection video I will leave a card and I need to put a poll on my community tab to find out what you guys want to see next in regards to my Sumsum collection. The choices are Disney, Marvel or Star Wars, so it's up to you guys what I do. So I've got a little piglet, a little Eeyore, a little Poo and a little Tigger. And then these plushies I got from Birmingham Comic Con last year. I've got a Poo with an Easter bonnet on and I've got Poo as a chick and then I've got a big poo as a chick. This is a slightly newer one. He is still stamped so he's quite old but I'm not sure what year he was. They weren't putting the year on the foot back then. And then I feel like I've got room for one more plush. So I'm going to put in my favourite Easter plush which is Winnie the Pooh as a lamb. Again he is stamped and he doesn't have a year on him. So he's going in this box and as you can see the box is pretty full so I'm going to just close it up. So I've completely closed it up. I haven't got a permanent marker. I'm just going to write small Easter plush, just like that. And now on to the big one. I really, really hope that all of these fit in here because I've already closed the other one up now, so it's a bit too late. So first I'm going to put in this year's Disney plushes. If you didn't see my plush review of them, I will leave a card as these two got their own video where I did a little haul of what I've got for Easter and did a little plush review of them. And then I think I mentioned in that video that I had similar Mickey and Minnie plushes. So these are from a few years ago. They do still have their tags on but they don't say the year. They were stamped though and they smell of chocolate which is why I always keep them packed away so that they don't lose their scent. So there is Minnie and there is Mickey. Again there's his stamp and he smells of chocolate as well. And this one is actually my favourite out of the two because I love that he's grey and blue. And then I said in the Easter plush review video that I didn't have an Easter angel and I actually do. This is from last year so I can't believe I forgot about her but she is super super cute and soft just like this year's so I'm actually pretty glad I didn't get this year's now. And then I have Easter Stitch which I believe is from the year before. So these are going in the box as well. And then that box is ready to be closed as well. Can we just appreciate the quote there? 
I just think it's so lovely that they've put it on the packaging. So that's where you rip it open. There's usually like a tab and you pull it along. So as you're pulling it, it says, if you can dream, you can do it. Always remember that this whole thing was started by a mouse and I absolutely adore that. So let's close this one up. So that is all of my Easter plush packed away and that was the last thing I needed to do today. So I'm going to end the lockdown vlog here. I didn't do every single one of the activities that I mentioned in my lockdown activities video, but I did read, I did play games, we made a skyliner which I didn't even know was a thing when I made that video. I've changed my bed sheets, I've packed away my Easter plush and I've eaten my body weight in Kinder Chocolate. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that your lockdown is going okay. I am losing my mind a little bit which is why I did this vlog to help me. I'm really really missing Joe. I'm struggling not being able to see him. I know it's for the best but that doesn't make you feel any better at the time does it? That's one of those things that it will feel better when it's all over that you knew you did the right thing but I'm still really struggling. You guys on YouTube and Instagram are all keeping me sane though, you're all checking in on me which I really appreciate. And remember if you ever need to talk my DMs are always open so message me on Instagram if you are struggling as well and just want to talk. I will be back on Tuesday for another video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below how your lockdown is going because I would really love to know. I will see you very soon guys. Bye.